Oh, hello everyone. How's it going? Today I thought I'd try something a bit different. We are the Democratic Birdies Republic of Birdie Beach. Bit of a mouthful, I guess, but that's what we're called anyway. So I've gone for the uh, an avian image, which is actually one of my favourite. Um, I mean, these birds are kind of featherless, pretty much, and kind of ugly, but I, I don't know, I don't know. I kind of feel an affinity for them, so... For the traits, we've gone for industrious, agrarian, and non-adaptive, okay? So, we're going to get bonus minerals, bonus food, and we're not going to be able to conquer many other planets at the moment. Let's skip down to government ethics and whatnot. So, I've gone for pacifist, okay, which always makes the game interesting. And I've also gone for fanatic egalitarian, okay? And that enables me to do um agrarian idol okay um a simple and peaceful life can offer often be the most rewarding the agrarian society has to a large extent managed to avoid large-scale urbanization so if you think of what a lot of the communists did right they tried to move everyone out into the country and they, you know, depopulated the cities, and so, yeah, I'm kind of going for a, um, kind of vaguely kind of socialist, kind of communist kind of thing, so, um, everyone wants to live in the country, and we've also got shared burdens, okay? So, the society believes in an equitable distribution of resources, making little to no distinction between the needs of the ruler and the ruled. All work together for the benefit of the whole, okay? So, again, this was never really achieved in any country on the uh, on the planet. Um, wasn't really um, ever attempted. I mean, the rulers are nearly always rich and powerful anyway, or at least the ruling class. But anyway, our society is going to be super democratic, and we're going to try to, you know, make those shared burdens work. Um, this is quite good because it actually reduces consumer good use um, across the board and increases stability by 5% and disables other kinds of living. So anyway, um, we'll sort of see how it goes. Uh, that's, that's kind of pretty much it. Oh, and also, we have the Democratic Birdies Republic of Birdie Beach, which is the DBRBB. Sweet. And of course, the flag is kind of a uh, technological kind of communisty thing. So kind of fun let's uh jump in i'm gonna save that and we can go done um i i'm playing a lot on small games right now guys so small games are you know pretty good it means the um game runs faster <clears throat> apparently the company who makes this said that during the next update they were actually going to improve the game so it run more well so it ran more smoothly and uh, a bit better in the late stage so i don't think that's gone out yet but still um we're gonna have lots of ai empires so we're gonna go for 10. four advanced ai starts because that'll make it interesting two fallen empire two marauder tech tradition cost is cut down by 50 percent and our habitable worlds are much smaller at um, only 25 percent this makes it a lot easier to kind of conduct wars and things and uh, also keeps the game nice and fast, okay? Because right now, the um, the more plants you have, the slower the game goes. And I've got a fairly decent computer, but, you know, it's still kind of slowing down. So, yeah, it'd be great when we optimise for coding if that all sort of sent out. Anyway, everything looks fine to me. High plane density is reduced. Uh, abandoned gateways are off. And, yeah, carrot caravanners are or whatever it's called they're um kind of annoying so we'll just leave them off to be honest because um i don't really want all the extra dialogue box boxes anyway let's jump right in okay guys we're um actually located in quite a good area here right um as you can see we've kind of got um a bit of a milky way swirl going on here so i'm kind of sandwiched between two different um arms really so, looks like quite a good spot in the middle here. Um, plenty of room to expand. But it might also mean that um, I might, you know, have quite a few people either side of me or whatever. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, and as usual, I'm going to select my civilian. Sorry, I'm going to start surveying the area. Let's go for physics research and... 
unlocks farming subsidies. Well, that sounds good for us. And we're going to go for the minerals too, because that's what we're all about. Farming in the minerals, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, I've gone into policy. And let's go for nutritional plentitude, because heck, we're getting lots of food anyway. And we're going to go for mixed economy. Wealth creation is fine. Hmm. Wealth creation kind of seems a bit strange for a communist kind of setup. So, what do we reckon? Consumer benefits. The consumers will benefit from our glorious expansion into the universe. <laughs> Usually, right, you can do this later on, but I'm just going to do this quite early. So, let's just see if we can uh, get by without producing any sort of um, consumer good factories. See if we can do it on expansion. Okay, guys, we're all about harmony here. So, pop food consumption reduced by 10%. Sounds like something we would want to do. Um, since they're eating more, we can make them eat less. <laughs> because they're eating half the amount of food, it means they can have twice as much. It makes everyone richer. Works perfectly. Yep, kinship we're going for. So all those elite people will quickly go down to farmers because everyone wants to be a farmer. So that's why we're going for kinship, guys. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've got two options in living standards. Usually there's a lot more options. So we've got shared burdens. Which I'm probably going to leave it on at the moment. So yeah, we've got shared burdens, which reduces the um, consumer good use by, well, they um, basically consume less than half the consumer goods and they all get 5% happiness. So heck, that's pretty good. We've also got utopian abundance, um, which we could probably go to late. You know, we could probably go to that now if I wanted to, but we could leave it on shared burdens for a bit, you know. Oh, let's just go to Utopian, shall we? I think the happiness improves people's ability to do stuff, so quite good. So guys, as you can see, um, instead of producing five housing, the city districts are producing four housing, and the other districts are producing three housing. So it's kind of good if you're going for um, a lot of resources and stuff. And also it kind of changes some of your technology later on. So you can actually increase the housing in your um, districts more than you can your city districts. So it can work quite well, to be honest. But I suppose it's a bit limiting in the end game, really, when you want to produce a lot more uh, resources and whatnot. Okay, guys, um, we found the um, shrine event. So let's begin the quest. I kind of wanted to go for more of a religious kind of thing, actually. So it might be quite cool if we can do that. Okay guys, so we've unlocked Harmony here. Let's um, jump right in, jump right into the um, Ascension perks here. So, what do you reckon? A nice old uh, sort of socially minded kind of society we go for. Hmm. Interstellar Dominion? Technological Ascendancy, why not? I mean, it's one of the best picks you can get. Mastery of Nature is very good too. Reduces clear, clear the blocking um, things, so. I'm going to go for um, Technological Ascendancy. Kind of role play, I guess, but meh. So guys, we've got our Shrine of the Old Gods bits going on here. So um, I guess we're going to get our scientists to research that. So yeah, like I say, you can only have two picks at the beginning. And I kind of thought about going for the, for the Priesthood or something. But maybe... Uh, Maybe we could move into that. Okay guys, so I've completed the um, task here. So they are beautiful, so we're going to make digital reproductions of the monoliths widely available in our empire, okay? Oh, this is interesting. 
So, six have become xenophiles. Six population. Well, that's interesting, man. Next, I'm gonna go for domination, guys, okay? Oh. Hey. Ah, guys, look. We found an alien vessel here, so... <clears throat> I'm not gonna bother investigating. They can investigate us. It's fine. Ah, okay guys, look. We have, um, discovered some Xenos. Let's have a look at them. Overwhelming, or well, has to be expected. Um, so by the way, at the beginning of the game, I rarely ever invest in uh, any kind of extra naval force, guys. Though the enemy does. And the reason is simply, um, I don't think it's necessarily needed right at the beginning. And plus, ships kind of consume certain resources over time. So it's probably better to put those resources back into your economy. Um, anyway, they don't like us very much um, because of our egalitarian principles, but uh, they like us because we're pacifists. Anyway, I think we can still declare war um, to impose ideology. So, okay, guys, because I've chosen to be peaceful, right, um, I can... Uh, um, Later in the game, I can demand vassalization, right? They'll say no, and then we can go to war and turn them into a sort of vassal state, okay? And then you can kind of integrate them into your empire. That's sort of how pacifists do things. But that does mean that I need to have more relative power than them, which kind of means I need more economic power to start off with. So I I guess we should just build up our, um, our sort of relative power for now. One thing I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to um, declare rivalry, if I can. Oh. Well, I can't because I'm too weak at the moment. So I guess that means I need to build some more ships. But anyway, I'm kind of glad that the enemy isn't too strong relative to me. Ooh, look, more birds. So guys, if you remember, I'm very good in agrarian and industrious, right? Um, so I'm really going to put more um, pops into mining. And I think I'm also going to get a few alloy foundries, maybe a civilian. Okay, guys. Um... I see there's another empire here. Got a lot of space around here actually for expansion and stuff. Um, I mean the enemy has quite a lot of space down here too, so... But still, um, let's have a look at the enemy then. Ooh, stony people. They're fantastic materialists. Before you ask, no, we will not share our technology. Okay, so, yeah. Font of Knowledge is their um, capital planet. And... Okay, interesting. They should hopefully leave us alone. Good. Okay, guys. Um, We've had a bit of a breakthrough here, so there's two other empires. Now, this is actually good news, because it means that these guys are going to find it more difficult to expand. And these guys look quite cool. So I might do something with these guys. I'm going to pause it for now. So... Let's go for... Of a trade deal. Um, let's just give them some stuff. See what happens. Oh look, we can form a research agreement. Which sounds good. What else can we do? Well, that looks pretty good for now. Giving them a good trade deal, and... Ooh, they're a hive mind. That's interesting. Okay, have a look at these guys over here. We've got loads of food, by the way. So, equivalent. They kind of dislike us a bit. Authoritarian militarist and spiritualist. Okay, it's not too bad. Not 
right there. Just give me some stuff. Great, we like the sale. So. guarantee independence but then it kind of affects my influence and I really want as much influence as possible right now. Um, could declare a rivalry I guess somewhere but hmm. oh my god what was that noise? Again I'm sort of thinking if we uh, for only minus 10 so again give me some stuff some food guys Great, so now we've got a commercial pack and a research pack. We're going on aggression, but again, that costs quite a bit of um, influence. That'll do for now, anyway. So, uh, see how it changes the resources and whatnot. Not really. Well, it will do over time, anyway. Actually, I think I'm going to go Fry and Frosters. So guys, um, I'm going to upgrade my star bases, I think. Um, anyway, so I've got quite a few resources here, so sell some of these off. See how many of um, these we can buy. I was kind of going for 250, but... Nah. Can we get these upgraded? Oh yeah, we can. This should also produce a few more destroyers. Um... So guys, um, I'm looking at my next door neighbour here. And they don't like me anyway very much. So, I think I'm gonna declare a rivalry. Just get me a little bit more influence, which is good. And main capacity increased by 20 up here, which is also very good. Okay guys, so you've offered us a non-aggression pact. Um, I suppose I could. Doesn't really hurt, does it? Gonna have a lot of a look at these um, aliens, see what we can do. Not much right now. They're quite far away. Do look. We've also got the um, Pit Hawk Star Assembly. Okay. Okay, guys. So I think I might have got the wrong quest earlier, but anyway, um, I've done the old gods quest now. So the um, last option here is to become spiritualist, right? Um, so start a religious renaissance, shifting empire ethics towards spiritualist. Um, so you can, yeah, shift your ethics towards spiritualist, um, which is kind of good. But actually, I'm a bit worried because, um, right, so does not have pacifist. Um, so I need to be, the shared burden, so I need to be like an extreme egalitarian. So if I, um you know, go for becoming spiritualist. Well, gonna mess up these, isn't it? It was a good reform, but I I don't know, I'm really struggling with an influence this game. <sighs> Although to be honest, shared burdens doesn't seem that fun because, you know, I've kind of gone for egalitarian well I don't know. Shared burdens might be good actually. Um So I'll go for sociology option. Okay, disaster averted, guys. Kind of boring of me, but... Okay, guys. Um, so I've completed the expansion and the harmony. To be honest, I wish I'd have gone for domination, because that would have given me a bit more influence, which I seem to be severely lacking anyway. Uh, so...
Might be good to go for shared destiny, right? Subject in integration influence cost reduced by 50% and um, subject trust cap plus 100%. So as we reach for ever greater heights, we must not leave behind those who have loyally served us. The glorious future of our empire was always meant to be a shared destiny. So I assume that'll kind of make it easier to integrate other empires and stuff. So that might be quite good. I've never really taken it before, so I'll, I guess I'll try it. So, guys, I just agreed to a migration pact, right? Now, what this actually does is it's, it's kind of awesome, right? So now if I go to colonize, okay, even though there are like, there's virtually no population here, right? Um, I've now got um, access to this species for starting a new colony. Um, so this is actually incredibly powerful, right? So, because um, I've gone for non-adaptive here, right? Um, if I find any desert worlds, such as this one down here, I can kind of more easily colonize it. So actually, this is um, an incredibly powerful move. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose that's one of the main reasons why you might want to um, choose that. And oh, guys, look, um, I've just noticed within my own empire, there's um, another world which I can um, now sort of inhabit. So, look at that. Um, I'll be 10% there. These guys are 80%, so that's freaking brilliant. It pays to be social. And there's, yeah, a heck of a lot more planets I can colonize now. Okay, guys, I thought I'd do a bit more so called diplomacy, but let's give them a bunch of stuff, right? That's how this kind of works, so we give them stuff, they like us more, we can then do stuff like uh, non-aggression pact, defensive pact if we want to, uh, I don't know, what does he do non-aggression pact? I don't know, defensive packs are a bit dodgy really, because You don't really want to sort of use up all that influence on stuff, so. We got these people over here. Give them a bunch of stuff, shall we? You can now do the commercial pact and the research thing. We're 17 away from a migration treaty, so that's good. And we got these people down here. Flower people hate us. These people are in par. Well, we don't really care. Look like rivalry, why not? We can really get that diplomacy score back up. <laughs> these are pretty neutral, so... I guess they can have some free stuff. So literally holding shift this, guys. Oh, sorry, shift and all, actually. Don't want to give away your alloys, they're actually valuable. The other stuff doesn't really matter. Yeah, that shoots up to 100, so... You can go for your research, you can go for your commercial. Alright. Ugh. <clears throat> Non-aggression pact, I suppose. Now I'll give away all my stuff. That's it, have some junk. Great. And we can do our um, commercial pact and research pack.
So guys, the general rule of thumb is, right, you basically only want to go to war if you can't expand um, naturally, okay? So here's the problem. These guys, right, they're, they can't really expand much more. So I predict they're probably going to go to war fairly soon with me, which means I should build up my fleet a bit more because right now, let's have a look. They're equivalent, but their f fleet power is superior. So probably build up a few more. I can obviously expand up here, and uh, there seems to be a break here, so this is all mine pretty much. Um, but again, that's going to take a lot of influence. Also going to go for domination, because it increases your monthly influence by one when you've researched all of it. So let's go domination. And great, we've got more colonies on the way, guys. Um, so that trade deal we had, the, the population exchange, we I can now build, well, I've got more planets here. Um, put in a new sector. Shove these on auto, why not? The international market things established. I'm gonna go for balance on here and just give them some um, stuff. Yes. Okay guys, look, so, um, because of our, um, we actually have this um, agrarian district housing, um, plus one, which is good. Everyone can be a farmer. <laughs> Okay guys, we've just met the cultural guys. So we can do some more culture. Oh dear. Yeah, of course we want to give you money. <laughs> uh, diplomacy, huh? Yeah, take our money. So guys, um, we've got a few planets, um, this uh, secondary species um, is on shared burdens, so again, that's um, we're not going to be quite as happy, but they're going to use a lot less consumer goods, which is kind of good, and of course my main species is, is on utopian abundance, um, so they're going to be happier, so everyone's equal, but some people are more equal than others, like, it seems.
Oh, hey guys. So I had a little bit of a break and I'm kind of back now. So got a nice fresh pair of eyes and see what we can do. So guys, I just, I keep seeing like new character models that I've never seen before. Look at this guy, he's freaking amazing, you know? He's got his, what, um, spider legs or whatever, but yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, and obviously they're, well, fleet power's overwhelming, I mean we can't trade with them. Um, so, as you guys know, I've got my, uh, tradition, no, 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 what do I have? I have my policy. No. God, I hate this interface. I can never freaking find what I'm looking for. Oh, sorry, my factions, right? And one of the um, things the faction wants is they want multicultural society, which means four or more species, okay? So, in order to achieve that and get the nice little bonus, um, I kind of want to be nice to another species, and I'm sort of thinking these six-legged six -legged people might be good. Um, so, give him some stuff. I think we only have to give get this up to 100 anyway. Hundred and one. Plus 80. And we can do our research thing and... Migration tree, we're not quite there yet. But... Anyway, it's better than nothing. I'm very low on influence, but... Oh, well. And I'm sort of thinking, right, we've got 52 ship capability here, and I'm well below that. So, I think I'm... I've also got loads of minerals here. And we've got loads of planets. And if, if you guys notice, I'm also researching... Oh, no, I'm not. Right, so I can upgrade these, but they're going to take um, moats, right? So I really need some more moat production. So I don't know if I can build moats anywhere. No, I need to get these upgraded. So we need to get the population up so we can construct more moats. Um means we need more food, so I'm going to sell some uh, minerals and some of these. I'll just buy some back. I know it's kind of wasteful, but so uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna buy food, right? I want to keep the energy at about 5,000 ideally, but because that'll mean I get a small bonus to influence, keeps one of the factions happy. I'm well overdue with the robots here, so... Ah, uh, quantum. We'll rescue you. Oh. God. Anyway, guys, like I said really want to try to increase the population a bit, so... But, I'm getting mineral purification. Darn all, oh bloody... Now what I wanted, guys, I wanted some, um, moats. Right. I want to get everyone up to 10 population. Pretty much it. But like civilian fabricators, that'd be good. So yeah, we're really gonna sort of take the planets to the next level, you see. Um, again, we're really lacking moats, even though we're sort of developing moats, so I want to buy some of them, I think. They'll uh, let us upgrade too on the home world. Which is good. Genetic modification would be very useful. Okay guys, so um, I was like looking at these guys and I've taken out um, two different treaties now. So we've got um, a communal and research agreements. So if I give these guys a little bit more money, maybe we can share some of this nonsense. Um, Right now, we can use um, we can get a migration treaty. Right, and now if we look at the faction, we see uh, multicultural. So we should have four unique species now. I don't know. Maybe it takes a while to update.
Oh, look at naked monkey creatures. Oh my goodness me. Are all pre sapiens naked? <laughs> if so, that's hilarious. Anyway, guys, our plan worked. We've got a lot more alloys coming in now, which is good. So, I'm sort of thinking, well, um, let me have a little think. I mean, we could upgrade all the shipyards, but I think what would be more useful is if we could try to take over this empire here. It's where fleet power is overwhelming, but very economic power is inferior, so we've got a lot of trade treaties and whatnot. So, again, if I build a load of ships, we might be able to bully these people, hopefully. Uh, guys, look, we've now got multicultural society, so again, that means we've got at least four different alien species. Um, so you guys can now see. Uh... Hmm. We've got a few of these dudes. Ooh, look, very intelligent. That's really useful. what we could specialize them into um, intelligent and uh, natural engineers make it do a lot of research jobs and stuff that's really cool Ah, guys, look, so I've been building up my fleet, right, and because I've got such an amazing economy, because, well, some of it's down to the fact I'm, um, I've got so many different trade packs with everyone, um, they are now classed as inferior because my economic power is so high, so, um, ah, see, the problem is they're allied with these guys, so, oh, they're, they're not very well liked, though.
Anyway, guys, so we've now got battleships. So, um, literally just researched it. I'm sort of thinking, but, um, if I get a few battleships, I should easily, easily destroy the enemy down here. Ah, oh, guys, okay, so I've completed Domination. So that's increased my influence by one, which is great, because I'm spending loads of it. So... Could go down the Engineered Evolution route. That'd be quite good. I mean, we're quite sort of biologically based. Um, Xeno compatibility might be nice, but... I need to be some kind of Xenophile. I don't think I am, actually, so... Engineered Evolution's fine, but it's not actually that interesting, I guess. Um, I mean, the Psychic Fruit's quite good, but again, I'm not really uh, religious, and apparently you need to be <laughs> kind of religious to do the old Psychic bits. Um, it's kind of weird. So we need Psionic Theory if we want to go down the Mind Over Matter route. So, hmm. Flesh is weak is fine, but I need more droids and whatnot, so... I don't know, I could just leave it for now, I guess. Yeah, I'll just save a point.
Okay guys, um, you join us at an exciting time, so I'm going to risk going to war, I think. <clears throat> See, I think vassals are better than tribute, Terry, so... Um, It would be good for the energy and mineral wing combo if I did get some um, tributary, but uh, I don't know, maybe a vassal would be better, do you think, guys? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna go vassal, so I'll basically. They'll be autonomous, but um, I'll basically um, they'll work for me basically. So, of course, they rejected it, which now means I can declare war. And oh my god. I think I chose the wrong thing, guys. That's horrendous. Yeah. I think I need to demand their vassalization, so... Hmm. In case they refuse, we can now go to war. Good try inviting attackers. No, maybe not. done a tributary so I guess I could do that. Um, they've obviously got two allies but I'm not too worried to be honest. Yeah redistributing it to me. Um, anyway let's go kick their butts. I wonder if we should build an army. Kind of a bit of an afterthought here, but we might need one. What's the thinking, guys? I've got all these resources. I might as well use them for... We need some more volatile to get the armor and stuff, so simply buy some volatile moats, I guess. Hmm. There we go. Ship's power increased a little bit, which is nice. So my plan is just to um, basically take everything that they have. So there's for capital. Okay. That is good. 
straight to the capital. expensive now. I was going to look at my empire. I wonder where the enemies are now. Okay, these guys are enemies, but like I say, I don't think they can even attack me. These guys aren't enemies, so that's good. These guys are enemies. Okay, that's not too bad, guys. Honestly, they'd have to go through the, um, the big old enemy down here if they wanted to actually beat me, but I suppose could come around here, but I don't know. These guys are my friends, aren't they? I don't suppose I can declare rivalry whilst we're at war. No. Question is, should I upload this other species or not? Hmm. We'll see. Gonna get gather a few more guys in the army, I think. What's their army strength? Uh, about 200. One guy? It's not particularly very high, so... Our army strength, 261. Look of general in there. Still 261. I guess I can increase it a bit. Think we should uplift. Fifteen. Brilliant. Oh yeah, I should probably get my researchers to come and, uh... Research. We've taken their um <clears throat> let's take this one too. Wow, guys, we've actually got loads of influence right now. So we've got authoritarian or egalitarian. Let's go egalitarian for the new species, guys. 
What are we on? Pacifist or militarist? Pacifist, I think. Okay guys, so we've pretty much taken all the planets from the enemy here, I believe. Um, but unfortunately, because I declared war on three different planets, or three different um, enemies, it sort of means that I... Uh, I think I need to go um, beat up one of the, one of the allies in order to... Um, Get the victory condition. Which I guess is fine. The other thing is the enemy can't travel through um, my ally. Well, they're kind of my friend, I guess. They can't travel through their space, so I'm in a really privileged position here. Quo might be good, but you have to, um, you have to really, you know, sometimes they'll try to, um, screw you over with, um, peace accords and things. So I'm gonna decline that because my ships are gonna go beat up this dude. Anyway guys, <clears throat> so I'm in the enemy territory now, so 
let's mess things up, I guess. Okay guys, so our things come to an end, so I guess we need a few more of these uh, moats. Hmm. Easily done. Alright, all the autos on. Wait, so did we win the war, guys? Something just popped up. Uh, have a look, then. Oh, wow, look, guys. These are my tributary. Whoa. Okay guys, so I've been reading about this, so tributaries cannot be integrated into the Empire, which um, seems a bit of a shame. So I guess that's the difference between a, um, a normal sort of um, subject and a tributary. Anyway, that's okay, because these guys are going to give me lots of resources, hopefully. Look at all this energy that's coming in. <laughs> Sweet. Wow! All these ships are amazing, guys. Who are these guys, anyway? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come down here and mess this guy up, I think. So I guess they surrendered to me, guys. That's cool. So I'm going to set this to um, take point, right? So everyone else will follow this. Wait. And hopefully my new tributary should follow too.
Tell you what, go back to the home world and we'll upgrade the ships. Wow, guys, look, we've formed into one super fleet. Also, guys, wow, look, we can choose a third point in our, um, whatchamacallits. Also, I've just noticed my min minerals are really low, so I probably should go for merchant gills or minerals or something. Hmm. Oh, I got rid of um, changing our ideology, guys. We got mining guilds, merchant guilds. What else should we get? Oh, wow, this is going to cause some upheaval, I think. Specialist output plus ten percent with meritocracy. It's really good, actually. Efficient bureaucracy is not that great. Hmm. We're going to see, at the moment, I think the farmers are producing a lot of um, amenities. I wonder if I should stick with agrarian idealism. Hmm. It looks like we've embraced capitalism. Look, merchant guild. <laughs> Reform. <gasps> wow. Wow, if I bugged out the game. No, no, the game's fine. Everyone's still got some shared burdens, though, I think. Kinda cool. Yeah, look at that, guys. Shared burdens, even though they're, um... Not really able to use it. Oh, well.
Okay guys, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say I want some demand vassalization. They're gonna say no. God, we've got non-aggression pact. <laughs> and it's going to be a while whilst before we um are allowed to attack these guys, so... Oh, we've got droids. Interesting. We can go over flesh as we can upgrade everyone to robots. Robot chickens. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. We're all going to be cyborg chickens. <laughs> Great. So, guys, I, um, these, this guy here, right, um, I just demanded he be my subject, um, and he said no, so I'm going to make him my subject anyway. And I don't know who the, this guy is. We'll find out, won't we? Okay. Go smash stuff up. Firstly, who is the um other okay. The other enemies there, I guess. Oh my gosh.
gonna have some minerals, my mates. Okay. I guess, guys. So it's pretty easy to rectify. guys.
Okay, guys. Um, so, for some reason, I've upgraded everyone to be cyborgs. So, quite a few advantages here. Uh, I just thought of a big disadvantage, actually. Kind of means I'm going to have to, um... Or maybe just no disadvantage. Oh god, we achieved victory, guys. Ha! Huh, that was unexpected. So, we're gonna have to wait 3,600 days before we can integrate these, um, these guys into the, um, into the Greater Empire, which is sweet. These guys, like I say, I don't think we can integrate um, because we've gone for a tributary, so they're giving us tons of resources instead, so that's not too bad. Anyway, better I'll give them a nice trade deal, I guess. See, now they love me. <laughs> Migration treaty. Oh, look, we can turn them into a vassal later on, guys. Kind of cool. I'm sort of thinking these guys, well... I think they should be our vassal too. They don't want to be. It's <gasps> not good. Okay, so we're at war with these guys down here, which is fine. Is uh, we're gonna have to send ships all the way from there? I'm gonna send nothing, are they?
Okay, guys, this is kind of annoying, but... Almost achieved my war goals, but I need to go and smash up the ally a bit to, um... Actually get the, um, goal I want. Which is, again, kind of annoying, but... Oh, well. Pretty close, guys. Hey guys, okay, so we've just won the war. Now we've got two vassals and one tributary. So that's good. And also, we're ready to integrate the subject. 
which is good. So guys, I think I'm going to go for World Shaper. Um, probably not the best thing in the world with um, cyborgs and robots and things, but why not? Oh guys, look, just integrating this subject, which is kind of cool.
Okay guys, so I think I want to integrate these guys next. Interesting, I've got non-aggression packs, so I can't attack them. How annoying. <sighs> Whatever, I don't have a don't have a pact with these guys. Like food. Mm. Sweet, they open their borders, guys. These guys just open their borders.
That's good, guys. Look. <laughs> My ally's actually killing pirates for me. It's freaking amazing.
Sweet.
Hey guys, just did another integration, um, which is looking pretty amazing, so I'll sort a few things out. Also guys, we just won the war. Unfortunately, we didn't take these two um, bits, but um, oh, we were so darn close to actually just winning. Kind of frustrating. 